Just hard.
リマオリジジエンダーそのジャパニーズあ、uh, 私ゲームすぐ出すわ、飲みせたるわ。<clears throat> hello, hello. Happy Saturday to everybody out there. Sorry, I'm working on getting my stream deck to work here. For some reason, it is not. moved my uh, PC into my room last weekend because I wanted to do some gaming on the big screen in the comfort of uh, a recliner. And ever since I've moved it back out here, I've been running into issues. I also had a big Windows update yesterday, so who knows which one is the catalyst. Everybody's doing great out there today on this, uh, I don't know, let's just call it a Saturday. Let's just call it as it is, you know? There's no reason to uh, build it up any more than necessary. Uh, today I'm going to be a bit of a React Andy. You know, I just, I've just i got some videos lined up that I want to watch, um, most of which I haven't seen yet. Actually, all, I'm pretty sure. Um, yeah, no, I haven't seen any of these yet. Uh, I may do some gaming later, uh, as the title suggests. I'm just winging it today, man. I don't have any plan. Uh, slept in a little bit later than I usually do, and I'm feeling a little groggy still, so... To get my coffee and, uh, wake up a little bit more, maybe we'll see what road that takes us down.
I did mention last week that I was going to begrudgingly start a TikTok account and try to curate my uh, uh, algorithm, whatever you want to call it, because most people tell you that uh, TikTok's great once you go through a shit ton of videos and choose what you like. Uh, and then your feed actually starts to have results that you'll enjoy. You know, that seems all very common sense, um, but it just doesn't seem to be the case for me so far. Uh, uh, granted, maybe I just haven't put in enough time yet because it, it, it seems like a chore to me to go through a lot of these videos. Some of them are absolute garbage. Um, but I did find a handful of, I don't know, TikToks that I would say that I like none of them none of, none of them were that great let's just put it at that and um, I'm hoping that if I pull it up on a stream today there will be some decent clips uh, but we are not gonna go right into that let's start with honestly Let's start with Good Mythical Morning, because that's, for me, that's, that's a classic, from a hot skillet of right? And uh, I don't think I've watched an episode in a couple weeks. Uh, this one is Will It Fajitas Taste Test. Um, and let's just jump right into it. Today we ask the age-old question, Will It Fajitas? Let's talk about that. Warm upbeat electronic music. Good mythical morning. Yes, the most exciting moment in a Mexican restaurant is when what? That sizzle from a hot skillet of fajitas is placed in front of you. Oh, or maybe when he just goes past you. And no, like, oh, what is she, she I getting? I should have warned that. And you know what? I hope that you feel that level of excitement for this episode. Don't touch the skillet or, or the plate. Very hot plate. Do you know that the word fajita roughly means little belts, which refers to the tough cut of skirt steak that's used in the Tex-Mex favorite of fajitas? Of I actually did I not know that, that. But what I really want to know is how far can a fajita be pushed before it loses that fajita sequel? <laughs> it's time for... Will it fajitas? Now, in order to be a fajita, a dish must have skirt steak or some other... So this, is, I, uh, this just made me think about this, and I feel like I need to address it. I watched... A, uh, uh, a TikTok clip over the last week where somebody has like 5 million uh, likes, not even views. So it's got to be like double that amount of views, right? 10 million or something like that. Um, I don't quite, you know, I'm basically a boomer, so I don't quite understand the app just yet. But uh, from what I gathered, they had over 5 million likes. And all it was was somebody saying that, oh, everybody asked me for this recipe. So I decided to make a video about it to show you how I make it. And all they did was cut up some fucking peppers, cut up some chicken breast, put it in some olive oil, put it on a pan, throw it in an oven at 400 degrees for however fucking long it was. And that was it. That was the recipe. Chicken and peppers on a pan. Five million views. What am I missing here? Can literally anybody become a TikTok star? I just, uh, I don't understand it sort at all. Sort of sliced protein along with mm -hmm. vegetables on a hot sizzling plate. Sizzle. You also got to have tortillas and a variety of accoutrement on, a side, uh, on the side to complete the meal. Our first attempt to willify fajitas takes us across the pond for some fish and chips. It's the sea sizzler. Don't touch it. Oh, don't, don't touch Holy it. Holy crap. Sizzler. I wish you hadn't told him that. I what? would have loved to see that, man. Thanks for thanks for giving me this after I had to move it. You're welcome. Like the 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 skillet. It's mm. first night of service. Things oh, were rough. God. The lemon's hot. That's a hot right. slippery lemon, Josh. Hot ah, lemon. We also thought about calling this the Buckingham Palace. Oh God. Like palace <laughs> with an F, but then we decided not to. Yeah, we, 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 we wouldn't do that. Josh, what did you do? Well, we got some British pub chips mixed You're going to have to speak up, sir. We got some British pub chips with some peppers and onions. We got some uh, strips of cod that have been battered in ale. We got some malt vinegar. We got some tartar sauce, a little bit of a uh, mushy pea scoop to look like guac, and then some oh. crumpet tortillas. That's peas? That's peas, That's baby. peas. 
No one's that excited. Oh, that's kind of cool. Peas. What kind of tortilla? I, like I mean, I would peas. be. Uh, well, not gonna lie, it's a crumpet that we stepped on a little bit. <laughs> crumpet tortilla. It's okay. a crumpet. It's very thick. Thank you. It's gonna be crumpet heavy. We pride ourselves on oh, our gosh. thick crumpet I mean, you're, you're, There's you're, so, uh, there's so much sizzling going on. <laughs> okay, I'm gonna put a. Then I've of lost cod. all motor what function. It's like I, what? I call it a cod piece. <laughs> I'm going to put a cod piece in my <laughs> in my crumpet. <laughs> I mean, still having... What even is a crumpet? and onions really give it dumb? not only the sizzle, but also the smell. Oh, but you did french fries down here. A fajita. Yeah. Because it's like, cause it's like chips. chips. Yeah, yeah, yeah. It's chips, man. The, the fun of a fajita is making it and then eating it. Making like it? like the fruits oh, of your yeah. labor. Yeah. The, the, this is not making it, by the way. Uh, this just in, a crumpet is a small griddle bread made from an unsweetened batter of water or milk, flour, and yeast, eaten in the United Kingdom, Canada, New Zealand, South Africa, Africa and Australia. I think that last part's uh, a bit wrong. I think I think you can eat it anywhere, as long as you have those ingredients. Wait, Josh made it. This assembling is assembling it. it. Dink it. And sink it. Oh, 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 oh. Oh, you still bit it, man. I backed out. No, I never back out. Phew. Is it hot? I just commit. Is it real hot? hot. Oh, God. That's good, Josh. <laughs> Dang. It looks good. Those mushy peas look like guac. Guac peas? Pea guac? What do you call it? Yeah, we call it pea guac. Pea guac. I'm going to eat some of that. Well, box. there's two pea guacs on the menu. you got to make sure you order the right one because the other one's real different. The uh, crumpet is the worst part of this. <laughs> Yeah, it's kind of like everything that a fajita could be, and then sort of messed up by the British. Mm. Kind of like <laughs> most of the world. Yeah, you know? true. Ouchie. I will say we made every part of I'm the not, skillet, I mean, but just, a British I'm person just saying made traditionally, the you know, imperialism. Okay. <laughs> it was an imperialism <laughs> joke, guys. It's okay. I, I got it. I got it. Everything's fine. Is it good or not? It's good. Um, it's I want to eat to the little fish don't, sticks. Don't, don't get things. in your head about it, Link. Oh, Those look good. You're speaking to yourself on this. Don't um, get in your head about it. Just eat it. It's not as good as regular fajitas, but the fish is really the star here. Because it gives you, I mean, it's that fried fish taco thing. It's got, it makes sense. That's really good. In a sense. That part. All right, so we'll go with it. Well, fish sticks are chips. already a thing. Will it so. fajitas? Yes! They say pizza is like making love. It's never bad unless it's happening they in say the that? back of a Sabaros. <laughs> <laughs> so the best of Italy combined with the best of Mexico is bound to give us all a happy ending, right? We give you, it's not delivery, it's fajitas. <laughs> all Jesus, the tables relax. Are looking at our table and thinking they should have gotten fajitas. Yeah, that's the best part. The fajita pride, they call it. And the, the, the scent, are they... it passes that. Yeah, are you about to tell me that they're going to take a pizza and just fold it and call it a fajita? Please don't. Pass. Please don't do that. Okay, Josh. Mm. This is pizza Yeah. on a fajita. That's right. So we cut the pizza crusts uh, into strips, and then we actually fried those off with peppers and onions. Then fried them up that. Ooh. Yeah. That part got some direct flame. Don't Woo. touch that. Was I not paying attention to the part? So usually on these Willet episodes, they... Uh, give the criteria expected to meet the expectation of said item. So they would give a list of what they consider fajitas to be on a sizzling pan with onions and peppers. Like, I don't know if I missed that definition, but it seems like this, this is a bit of a stretch. That one. So um, that, that's, a, that's a pizza crust stick. Uh-huh, correct. And then there's peppers and onions, and then we topped it with uh, pizza sauce, cheese, bacon, chicken, sausage, chicken? pepperoni. Yeah, we uh, we added all the meats on the th theoretical Mythical Kitchen pizza app. Chicken? Uh, <laughs> and uh, I think that's it, man. Dang, son. You know, Chicken's pretty man, normal on a pizza. It's like not crazy. A claw. You, you done so much. Although it's typically not on like a meat lover's pizza. You don't usually get pepperoni, sausage, bacon, beef, and chicken. Um, there are still plenty of pizzas with chicken on it. There's nothing on your tortilla. <laughs> Use the tortilla as a claw and just grab it. That's what I do with fajitas. Ah, fajita techniques. Yeah. That's, that's risky, isn't it? Nah, probably not. <laughs> there it is. The tortilla is like a glove. Interesting nope. technique there. Funny. There it is. Hey, you did it. You really do that? Hold on. I, I can definitely believe you, you just took all the good toppings off 
But it doesn't matter because I've already got mine. <laughs> yeah, it's I'm not an ethical way. I'm ready. To, like the bread. I'm ready. I'm the, ready. The crust sticks. All right, dude. Is it real hot? It's real Let's good. ask that every time. That's a pizza roll sort of quality to it. I kind of have I kind of have a beef with GMM right now, and it's not even directly their fault. Um, but if any of you in the past have seen any of my videos, you've seen that I've uh, got really pumped about their uh, merch line uh, for the 10th anniversary because they brought back a coffee mug that I've been trying to get for years, as well as a cool shirt that I wanted. I got both. I got the shirt. I got the mug. The shirt has been ready to ship for almost two months now. I ordered this back in January. It's about to be May. Um, I've emailed them several times, trying to be as nice as I can, just asking, like, wh where? Why? What's going on? And um, multiple times they've said, well, your shirt's ready, but the uh, the mugs are having warehouse holdbacks. Um, and at one point I was told it would ship out mid-February, uh, to which I waited a couple weeks and emailed them back, and they said mid-March. Now it got pushed again. Uh, to which I emailed again and, and was told uh, mid-April, uh, and here we are, end of April, and they finally emailed me back, and they're like, um, yeah, so if you want, you can cancel the mug, and we can send out the shirt, since you, you're not willing to wait, and I'm like, I've been waiting for uh, a quarter of the year for this mug. I don't know if they're creating it from 3D printers, I don't know uh, if whoever's creating these ran out of uh, ceramic to make mugs. I don't understand the deal, why it would take four months to make said mug, uh, but either way, their customer service is lackluster at best. I feel like they could just at least send out the shirt since it's there, and then when the mug, uh, when the mug comes, send the mug. You know, why are you ma making me wait three extra months to put that damn shirt on? I'm pissed. Kind of like an elevated Lunchables pizza. Uh -huh. I mean, taking ev scraping everything off the top of your pizza and putting it in a tortilla. There's probably several college students who have done this. Right. It's not a. It's not bad at all. There's nothing to complain about, and you still get the crust because it's also in there and that you're wrapping up in a tortilla. It's kind of. It's a little harebrained. But harebrained, huh? I mean, I feel like I didn't what's, think we did hair break. Yeah, what's no, this? I mean, yeah, I, yeah, yeah. I feel like it's not as classy as some of the stuff that we do on this show, <laughs> right? You know, I just I feel a little, it's a little uncouth, <laughs> but I really like the taste. A little uncouth, and I really like the texture. And I I don't know how you got the this to be so crispy. I uh, deep fried it. You deep fried the crust. Uh huh. That's good. Okay. Well, yeah, that's fun. That is just that is just pure. I wouldn't imagine deep fried crust to be good, fun. but pizza. Will it fajitas? Yes. yes. It is a thing of beauty watching the donuts go through the waterfall of sugar glaze on the conveyor belt at Krispy Kreme. Oh, that's yes. Oh. Oh, what about a am pond I, of glaze? Uh, on am I the only one who doesn't really like donuts that much? Like, uh, they're just too much. They're too much. In theory, they sound amazing. They look delicious. Um, but anytime I eat a donut, I instantly feel regret because I, I just feel like I need a nap and I feel like I've gained 10 pounds. I'm just not a fan of donuts. All right, you heard it here first. On a hot bubbling skillet. Okay. Presenting Donut Touch the Plate. It's what hot fajitas. What the Woo! fuck is that? Okay, so this actually looks like red peppers. What is With happening? With like fucking well, radioactive yeah, cum so on it. we got it. onions and red bell pepper in there along with about a pound of skirt steak and then oh, we get the fuck out of here with that shit. 15 hollowed out jelly donuts worth of jelly donut glaze. And oh, wow. So the so the steak has jelly all over it. All, all over it, all inside it, all on top of it. You name it, it's jellied. And then we got powdered sugar, we have donut glaze, and then we have a little bit of sweet and sour cream. And that's just a smushed donut? Oh, it's not just a smushed donut, but yeah, it is a smushed donut. I mean, look... Oh, wow. It's a smushed donut. That is awesome. So this jellied up beef is kind of like when you do those jelly meatballs. Your mama does a mean batch of jellied up meatballs. Oh, yes, yes, yes. Oh, yes, yes, yes. Christmas. For many years. Okay, why is it so hard to just fucking block somebody? Mm -hmm. There we go. Yeah, equal parts jelly and barbecue sauce. Good home cooking. I'm sorry, what did you think was in the meatballs? Just good stuff that Sue came up with. You thought it was just barbecue sauce. Gotta love when your only viewers are bots. Sauce. I was like, ooh, that's such a sweet barbecue sauce. Hey, if it inflates sauce. the numbers, oh, I'll jelly. take it. It's I'll take jelly. it. And I think barbecue there, sauce. Yeah, there's barbecue sauce in it. I like that. How did the, how did the donut stay intact? 
Did you have to add something to it after you just smushed it? We plugged the hole with more donut. Ah, you gotta plug that donut hole. Mm Mm-hmm. That was incredible. A well-timed thumb can help a lot. Oh my god. (laughs) It's crazy. Let me eat a piece of that Sioux meat. (laughs) We're so tender. How'd you get to be so tender? I have no idea. I guess if you cook it in caramel for long enough, it just does that. Like, it's falling apart in the best way. I thought it was going to be like jerky. I have no idea. Man, this is working so well. I don't even know so what to well. say, man. I mean, I've seen like a burger with Krispy Kreme donuts as the buns. That's me, always scared me. Let me taste the elements. That meat. The elements? Call your mom right now. And the... um. Krispy Kreme, get them, get, call them. It might be difficult to sell somebody on this. Like, it doesn't look great. It doesn't look yeah, great. It looks horrible. Smush, donut looks like a smush donut. Mm. But once you get them to taste the elements, everybody's gonna get on that train. I keep saying Krispy the Kreme elements. Krispy Kreme with a pie, Jesus? <laughs> yeah. yeah. Those elements do not look appetizing. Okay, before we taste our last dish, we have spent over a decade tasting, rating, and ranking everything on this show from uh-huh. the world's most expensive desserts to forty-year-old ham and eggs. And you know what? <laughs> it turns out that can get you a television show. Yeah, we got yeah. a TV show, y'all. We got a television show. Oh, it's really? On the TV, and it's also streaming this Sunday, April twenty fourth, in the year twenty twenty two. Our oh, series, that's over. Inside Eats with Rhett and Link, premieres on Food Network. It is a Food Network television show. It's also on Discovery Plus. Mm-hmm. All right. We get behind-the-scenes access oh, to doing your like favorite a sneak restaurants peek. and food brands yeah. and ask questions like, what the Forget This Sunday, that. April 24th on 2022. Yeah, all That's this year. Uh, it's at 10.30 p.m. on Food Network. Yeah, we get it. even more bonus footage, yes. We get it. I want some fajitas made completely out of pickled stuff. Who's with me? It's Peter Piper picked a pickled fajita. <laughs> Ooh, this one's Whoa, that's a strong smell, son. Woo! Extra Good sizzling. lord. <coughs> oh. <laughs> what is that? Because of the vinegar? Yeah, it's probably all the pickles. Yeah. Woo wee! Okay, so there's some bright, bright pink stuff on top. That's gonna be the pickled pig's feet. We cut it into strips. Cause fajitas. Is there still <laughs> bones in it? Yep. Cause pig's feet. It's fajitas. You almost said it like, cause fajitas, like. Feet and fajitas. Was that a joke? Yeah, we never quite landed on the pun, but if you did, that's cool, man. Fajitas. Nice. Uh-huh. Fe- nice. Fe- 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 Going Fe- above Fe- and beyond. Oh, uh, no, 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 no. That's no. next week. No, 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 <laughs> not, not, not yeah. that. And then th- this has just got pickle juice on it? Uh, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, you know, we steamed it into Yeah, steamed really and pickle infused. juice. Now, do you, you want to try a Josh grab and grab and eat? A grab and go. Can you just take a a, a pig's foot and just eat it straight? Do you, are, is there stuff you can't eat in it? Well, it's mostly stuff you can't eat. <laughs> so be careful. So what else is in here? There. Oh, is this a? Oh, it's it's hot. Is it real hot? What? God that's damn a, it! I bet that's a pickled green bean and a pickled kimchi. Yeah, uh, that's correct. It's pickled green beans, kimchi, pickled cucumbers, pickled eggs, pickled pig's feet. Pickled egg. Everything yeah, sounds. I would eat all that except for the pig's feet. Garlic. Oh, pickled garlic. Yeah. Ooh. Ooh. Got a lucky bite. Lucky bite. Yeah. I'm making this for you, right? For everybody that I'm going to be talking to later today. Kim like, real lucky bite. I think you want some more of that on it. Yeah. How do you advise one to eat a fajita that's got a foot in it? Slowly, deliberately, but with gusto and gratitude for the person who made it. Okay. <laughs> oh, gosh. One of them has a toenail on it. Oh, there it is, right there. Fucking gross. Gosh. Uh huh. I don't even know what part of the foot it is. Uh, let me see. Uh, lower tibia. <laughs> oh gosh. <sighs> All right, I'm gonna, I'm gonna get one bite that has no no feet. Now, in it. I I'm Just a big fan the... of pickled onions. I'm a big fan of. <laughs> I like it. none of those in there. Yeah, yeah. I'm a big fan of something that's not in this. <laughs> well, where are I, I? It's fajitas, man. That's the one thing that I love. Isn't I thought people actually ate pig's feet? Isn't that like a thing? Do they typically have the bones in them still? Pickled. Is that... Yeah. Sorry. All right. Pickled green beans are okay. All right. Here we go. I mean, did you even get any no, of no. the? Is it like a First chicken part, wing, or you kind of? Without the foot, just so I can eat it. Go around I'm it. Bite on that pickled pig's foot. That's what I'm gonna start with. Oh my gosh. There's no. I mean, that's just that's literally just a bone, Josh. You suck off the skin. 
Okay, I you got suck a off the I skin. How do, you, how do you eat a, a, a foot? Oh, it's actually pretty good when you get to the meat part. Nice. Do you have any favorite pickle-themed uh, pickup lines? Because mine is, are you a jar of pickles? Because I like to bang you on the counter. <laughs> Come on, Stevie. Don't support him. <laughs> it's just, you know, because pickles, you bang them on the counter. Okay. You know, it's because when you want to get them open, sometimes you got to do that to unscrew them. I feel like that was a myth, so I never really did it. I, I do want to try some of the. I kind of mm -hmm. like it, Josh. Thanks, man. The flavor's good. It's just, I, I feel like I want the somebody. Is bad. I want somebody <laughs> to de meat my feet. Yeah, that's what I, I figured. Know, it's like, why don't you price, just... I'll, I'll de -meet Maybe a feet de -meet I, I actually yeah. did that. You de -meated your feet? Yeah, I should have done that for you. I'm sorry. Yeah. Your, yours doesn't have anything. Because you know what the actual meat on the pickled pig's foot tastes like? It tastes like a pickled oh. sausage, like a Penrose pickled sausage. I, I can't I can't take it. I'm not I'm not in the I'm not in the right headspace for this today. Well you gotta be a, you, you, you gotta be in the right foot space, man. It's, oh it's not, it's not it's not good. I cannot go okay, there. Yeah, I yeah, I don't know how well this would translate to the to the masses. So, you're, tr you're trying to like it. This is just for you, huh? Yeah, just for me. But for everyone else, pickles, will it fajitas? No. no. Especially when there's bony pig toes in it. Okay, well... Man, know, I am not waking up. I think three out of four ain't bad. It was a pretty good day. And a, a TV show, that's pretty good, too. Make sure you, you watch Inside East. Yeah, pretty right good episode, okay. pretty good episode. Thanks for subscribing and clicking that bell. You know what time it is. I'm Annabelle. And I'm Annabelle. I feel like I need to watch some Henry's Kitchen. I don't know if anybody knows about Henry's Kitchen. The shit is funny. Hello, and welcome to Henry's Kitchen. Where today we're going to be making Henry's Anytime Chili for One. We're going to preheat the oven to 200 degrees, and you really want to make sure you. Okay, let's start by cutting our tomato. We want to cut it into eight separate wedges. <laughs> okay. <laughs> uh. I should turn you one of these I into a TikTok. Used a slightly sharper knife. But you probably get DMCA for that, right? Mince the bell pepper. It's weird. TikTok seems like super strict about their um, their copyright infringement. Uh, because I tried to add a profile picture to my account, which, by the way, is the same as all my other crap, Dexdark. And um, I tried to use the wicked emote from uh, Twitch and it, it 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 immediately removed it and sent me a message and said my account was temporarily banned because I broke their copyright uh, policy. But at the same time, almost every single post on there has like a, like a top 40 song. So I don't really understand how that works. Do they like get a does the artist get a cut from the views of them using their song? Like I I just don't understand how TikTok works. It's all it's all so weird to me. Now we're going to mince the onion. I remember when I was growing mince. up in New Jersey, my brother and I used to fight all the time. And one time he threw a rock at me and he hit me in the head, I guess. And my head started to bleed. Now we're going to take all this shit and put it in a bowl for later. <laughs> the recipe that I'm using makes it for six to eight people, but I'm only making chili for one. So I'm going to be dividing every one of the ingredients by seven. So instead of one can of kidney beans, I'm only going to use about one-seventh of a can, three-sevenths of a can of tomato sauce. I don't have tomato sauce, but I have tomato paste, which is the same thing. Yeah. 30 milliliters of Worcester sauce. By the way, Worcesters. my recipe is in metrics, so I'm converting as I go. 15 milliliters is one tablespoon, so two tablespoons. Big brain. Uh, divided by seven, that would be two-sevenths of a tablespoon of Worcester sauce. I don't have any Worcester sauce, but I have soy sauce. <laughs> Same thing, really. Ten grams of chili powder. That's one and a third tablespoons divided by seven is like, uh, shit. <laughs> I don't know why I like this guy so much, but, uh, it's shit like makes one, me laugh. It's like uh, two-sevenths of a tablespoon or something. I don't know. Teaspoon of salt. Teaspoon of pepper, some canned veggies. Now just stir it all up. 
It's very important when you're making dinner just for one to divide every ingredient. One time I forgot to divide the salt and uh, I put ten times as much salt as you were supposed to have. And I was like, oh man, I fucked it all up. <laughs> so now professional. Now we'll put it in our oven. Seamless transitions. The man's a legend. Okay. Chili on a plate? The fuck? The man's a barbarian. six hours let's see what we got I'm definitely working up quite an appetite <laughs> hmm. yum the chili patty see, I mean it should definitely be done at this point oh yeah for sure joining us here on Henry's Kitchen and please tune in next week. We're going to make gluten-free lasagna. <sighs> yeah, so if you don't know about Henry, check him out. Shit's hilarious. Alright, let's just do some Daily Dose. Hello everyone, this is your Daily Dose of Internet. I found a video of a very thick plant. Damn. Woo! What in the fuck? This poor lizard was lost and was looking at the map for directions. <laughs> Do you need directions, sir? <laughs> Hi. Hi. This guy found a self-destruct button at a gas station. I came to this pump. It's a self-destruct. Huh? It says self-destruct. You hit it? It says waiting for cashier approval. This is what a giraffe looks like when they try to eat off the ground. It's a good safety feature. <laughs> okay. Oh, what the fuck? I found this YouTuber that figured out that you can pick up a diamond using a laser beam. I started by trying sprinkling some of those little diamonds into the laser beam, and I couldn't get any of them to stick. But when I stuck the diamond powder on a piece of paper, and then uh, picked up the laser, and uh, put that powder in the center of the uh, focal point, I was able to pick up some of those diamonds there. I found a YouTuber with an amazing magic trick. Do you want to see a magic trick? Yeah. Yes. Alright, awesome. So pick a number between... Actually, you know what? Forget about it. Never mind. That was rude. That sucked. That was a terrible magic. Sorry. Hi. I love How your hair. How are you? I love your hair. Hey! You still want to see that magic trick? What the f***? Fuck that. Ain't no fucking way. Have you ever seen a video of a dog rolling their eyes? Look, I... I like animals. I have nothing against animals. I prefer cats over dogs. Um, I wish the best for all wildlife and uh, whatnot. Okay? Let me preface this with that. Um... But all these animal videos, whether it be YouTube, uh, Twitter, TikTok, whatever the platform, we, the, there is an excess. We are inundated with animal videos that are really all not, not all that special. 
why like why do people just instantly see an animal and click that they like it 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 ruins the algorithm i am purposely avoiding uh most if not all animal videos entirely on uh tiktok as i'm trying to curate my uh feed uh just because i don't want it to become flooded with crap that is just like oh okay like who cares if it, now there are outliers there are good animal videos don't get me wrong especially the versus videos in the in the wild or uh, a unique i don't know you get my point all right i just it's too much too much too many animals this one is just stupid like why why do you have that that is the end of this video i really hope you enjoyed and i'll see you guys again very, very that looks soon awesome later Hello everyone, this is your daily dose of internet. This poor kid Yo. didn't see the drying cement. Ooh. That's rough. <laughs> this dancer was hard to perform at a community center for elderly people, and the residents wanted to try as well. What? probably community of pole dancers out there but i, I just don't get it <laughs> this dad wanted to teach his son how to drive all right there big pothole ah. yeah stop, stop. Ah. Ha, ha. Ah. holy shit oh jesus sam are you okay holy yeah yeah that was a good one <laughs> That's a bad one. What the fuck? This is what 15 years of professional beatboxing sounds like. Month one. Ten years. Fifteen years. Okay. Pretty damn good. <laughs> Scientists That's a decent animal whales video. Whales are I'll impacted by cargo ships. The blue dot is a whale that has been trapped trying to avoid these big ships. Oh, that's fucked. Who knew turtles fighting over a log could be so dramatic? Bro, there's plenty of room for both of you. Ah. Oh. Okay, I've got I got a soft spot for turtles. So turtle videos. I mean, same thing with seals. I like seals. That is the end of this video. Really hope you enjoyed, and I'll see you guys again very, very soon. Daily dose videos go fast, man. They go so fast. Idiots in cars. I can dig it. Oh, because that guy went around him. Yeah, that's smart. What a fucking idiot. I get so mad just watching this shit, dude. I, like, I am mostly disappointed in the human race whenever I get on the roads. Ugh. Like, people just don't understand the power we have in vehicles. And when they get on the road, just they're only thinking about themselves and their interests. And then he drives off? I mean, deserved. Fuck you.
Like, I don't feel bad for these people who do this stupid ass shit. Should have added good riddance playing by Green Day after that. Really? How long is this gonna go? Holy. He's right here. I feel like he escalated this. Wait. I keep thinking he's gonna make it, but that. What? That was impressive. Quinn, this registration expired last day of August. There again, not, not like, you know, the end of the world, but. Probably looking at their cell phone, then looked up and saw the cars pulled over. 116 County. Dude, the amount of people I see on the fucking highway just doing that, like, I don't even want to get started with the left lane. Like, nobody knows how the fuck the left lane works, and it fucking boggles my mind. Like, I, I hate driving, dude. Okay. Which sucks, uh, yeah, because okay. I actually love it. Like, the actual act County. of driving, especially depending where you're at, good times, but the people on the road. They make it hell. What the fuck? Where are they in fucking uh, Oklahoma or some shit? I'm surprised we don't see any of these people rage like immediately after. Who was in the wrong here? I don't feel like figuring it out. A pothole? Oh, Garmin has built-in recording? Okay, Garmin. That makes sense. Save video. I'm, I see always double check for bikers and immediately before anything happens, I'm curious who's in the wrong here because I feel like we're expected uh, to give too much leeway to bikers. Like it's our fault as a driver to be paying attention for them. No, I mean, there are instances and this could be the case where the car drivers are obviously the ones at fault, but I see a lot of fucking stupid people on bikes doing stupid things and they're like, well, you should have been paying attention. No. No, you shouldn't be doing this in traffic. Car's fault. But the other day I was on the highway, and it's just starting to get nice around here, so people are getting on their bikes, and there was like a group of bikers just weaving in and out of traffic on the highway, going like 80 miles an hour. Like, it only takes a split second for somebody to just move over a little bit, and that person's fucked. 
but they probably get off on that adrenaline, I would imagine. Just stupid. Yeah, no one's gonna know it was you, bro. There was a year, uh, I believe it was on uh, St. Patrick's Day, where uh, my buddies and I were hanging up on top of uh, the roof of their apartment building, and uh, some drunk lady was like falling asleep at the wheel or not paying attention and slammed in the back of my buddy's car and was trying to get out of it. Like when we went down there to check on her and make sure she was okay, not even like that mad about the car incident, just like worried about her at first, she tried to like run and hide from us, and it was a it was a whole ordeal. Because that person didn't stop. What? What even happened there? Dude, I can't, I can't. Dude, watching car videos like this and police brutality videos, those are my two weaknesses, dude. Just instant rage. You're Girl, in the, what are you doing? Yeah, you're I, in the you wrong doing? lane. You're the one in the way. Go over there. Like, I'm trying to turn. That's not my fault. Like, like what the crap? I'm not moving anywhere. No, I'm not going anywhere. What the crap? Yeah, we get it. Move on. <laughs> That's a good thing they stopped. <laughs> that, personally, that, that last scene, that shouldn't have even been in this video. That happens, like, on a daily basis. That's just normal. Wait, what are they laughing at? laughing at the car? I mean, it's not anywhere on the track, so it doesn't really fucking matter. Still there. Let's watch them go. Train's ending. <laughs> what am I missing? The gate's gonna lift. Finally safe. Oh, because there was no reason for that car to wait. Why did it take me that long to figure that out? Like, that person could have just... Today we ask the age-old question, will it fix... Could have just moved on with their lives. Um, okay. All right, okay, all right, okay, okay, all right, okay. All right, I got it. We'll do some TikTok. Much as I currently hate this platform... Well aware of the fact that it can get you viewers. Step one, we catch the hot and show you wet one. So fucking loud.
<sighs> so I really need to curate my list. Oh, ow. Why is it so bright? Do they not have a dark mode? Really? I refuse to believe it. There's gotta be like an extension for it. Um, TikTok dark mode. Okay, they have it on the apps. Not for PC? Like, what the fuck? Dark mode PC. Yeah, it's an extension, okay. Add. So one time at my certain oh, job, I, I hit pause for a reason. Thank you. Um, dark theme. Okay, cool. Cool, 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 cool. Uh, so. Oh wait, what? Specifically telling me to use this one instead. <laughs> Holy <laughs> god damn! There's a lot of them. Alright, we can do this easy way. My boy Joshua. Why are you so excited? We're gonna go watch the one. We about to watch. Bro. Sorry, I keep jumping on the popcorn. We are about to go. Oh my god. If I change the volume on one of them, does that affect all of them? And why isn't it like Hello? <sighs> Nothing else to do today. taking up the full screen? Uh. And this shit's annoying. Mar, I already hate TikTok. <laughs> like, uh, no, that's a terrible way of going about it. Get app. Is this not the app? I get a lot of interesting questions when people find out I'm from Florida. I don't care. Okay, for getting frustrated. But we'll we'll do this, I'll make it. Last night I was walking my dog, it was like nine. Oh. The fact that shit just auto starts and is Top volume after you've turned it down. Fix your goddamn UI. Okay, 
Can I not just go to the website? Is that not a thing? Do I have to use this stupid fucking app? That blows dicks. I can't go to the website. Um, mm -mm bop. my for you page so i fucked up and i bought my daughter a gift card for her birthday because that's what she fucking asked for and i fucked up even more because i made it a target gift card target if you're fancy and i'll never ever ever do that shit again it's 25 dollars because your boy's not fucking made of money we get in there dude when i watch other streamers do this they have like an arrow they 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 Bush. It's the not like scrolling. What am I? What so am I, I doing wrong? And I bought my daughter <laughs> a gift card am I really that old? That's what she fucking asked for. I don't care. Shut up. I hate all of these videos until I figure out how this works. Oh my god, this is pissing me off. Bear with me as I'm trying to figure out behind the scenes how we can get the streamer experience with TikTok. Now, I thought I already had the TikTok app, but apparently I don't. So what the fuck have I been using? It's... There's multiple TikTok apps for PC. <sighs> Don't even start playing. I will fucking... People use this garbage fucking app. I'm almost curious if I could just broadcast my phone as an input on here and use that instead. Dude, the fact that these just start at top volume for each fucking video and that your volume settings do not save throughout is the worst. dark mode go.
I'm so close to giving up. Honestly, I'm annoyed. <laughs> I need to, uh, I need to figure out behind the scenes how to get it working uh, properly because unless the video is taking up a, a big, bigger portion of the screen and it's easier to scroll through, then it's kind of lame for the viewer experience. Uh, also, I can't get dark mode on the one app that does look like it should. I know I can figure it out, it'll probably just take like 20-30 minutes and I don't want to waste your time. Especially since I know I had to do a shorter stream today because I got shit to do. Um, I will be live tomorrow though. And maybe we can do TikTok then if I decide to actually look into it after uh, my plans today. Uh, appreciate anybody who stopped by. If you wouldn't mind following the channel if you're new, uh, if you watch one of my VODs. Uh, whether it be on Twitch or YouTube, Dexdark, same name on all platforms, including Garbage TikTok. Hope everybody has a great rest of their Saturday. Uh, and I will be gaming tomorrow. I'll, I'll, I'll be back to gaming tomorrow. I just wanted to get on here real quick, watch some shit, and I figured rather than doing it off stream, might as well, you know, content, you know? Alright. Peace.